performance center and HPLM. So uh, like this, yeah, everyone able to see right screen? Hello? Yes, yes. yes sir. Yeah, so in yes, performance center, our AP, ALM will be, both will be URL based one. So you need to open means you need to enter for the URL and it will open like this. See everyone able to see, uh, somewhat increase for size. Okay. So once open this uh, performance center, our uh, application life cycle size management means ALM. See, this is the performance center. So once open that URL, you will be see it like this: username and password and domain and project. Means which project you are, you need to log in that project. So same like as a controller, but this is for the web-based application. So after login. See, we have the testing tab one, expand the testing tab will be there. The testing tab you can expand and selection from the left side panel and click on the test plan and select for the subject and root folder and click on new folder and mouse pointing to the provide a name of the new created folder. So we'll see the next slide. See, now we can observe this is the somewhat bigger this. So you are able to see, right? This is the testing tab. Everyone able to see this is, is this is testing tab. Once you can expand the testing tab, it will be there in test resources, test to plan, test to lab, time slot, and test to run. So in the test resources, nothing but we need to add for the monitor point of view, we need to add for the servers. So going to the test plan, test lab will be there, right? In the test plan, what we can do means we need to create a folder. In that create the folder, we need to upload the, our scripts. What are the scripts will be there? We need to upload that scripts. So for here, difference between controller and here, we need to zip the scripts and first, then we can upload here. So that's it why in test plan and test lab, we need to uh, download for, uh, sorry, you need to upload the scripts and we need to do the script announcements. Sorry. So for this is the, after that. So now we can observe here at the below screen chat, I have given the same user and script for newly created folder and select a newly created folder and we use and script and click on for upload we use and scripts. So we need to click on for the upload we use and script icon and mouse pointing. Now you can see a upload scripts pop-up window, just click on select button and choose the required script, important only zipped files. See, you are doing for the any script is completed. Previous we are not done for the zip. So you want to zip means how to we can zip, go to the uh, where is saving uh, in that results and the views and right in the views and you can open this one and for example this script you want to push into the performance center or alm just what you can do you need to zip this one like this compress and zip so zip folders only we need to upload in the alm okay so for this one is the zip so like this what are the scenarios you need to uh, do for the low test uh, so then those are will be we need to zip the folder so that is only here it is showing then now you can observe for this one so see now everyone able to see right see we are created one folder in that created folder, we are adding for the some uh, scripts. These are the scripts. So here you can observe, everyone able to see, for this is the empty will be there. You can click on upload means it will be come to the this folder. This folder, no documents history will be there, right? Nothing but these all will be zipped 
scripts. So once we click on upload button, it will come to this folder where it is there in say my, our scripts. So what are the zip scripts will be there? You need to select and click on OK. After uploading, we can use the script as below. Once scripts will uploaded, you can see it will show the scripts like this. For this, in this folder under, these are the scripts. And you see now you can observe this. If you want to update anything, scripts means you can select this one. Here will be there. You want to delete, it will be there. For example, you want upload means upload will be there. For these buttons will be there. For these buttons, what it will show means if you want delete means you can delete. If you want add means you can add. So that is point of way. Only it is showing for that means one folder we can create the folder and. What are the scripts we need to zip in? So those will be, we can keep in this folder. So next we can observe. So select the subject root folder and click on new folder. I can provide name newly created folder. And so, uh, here in the below screenshot, I have given name as a test lab. So test name is we are given as a test lab for the newly created folder. And select a newly created folder in test lab and click on new test and provide the test name. Means uh, first thing what we can do, we are create one folder first thing. Once create that folder, in that create folder, we need to prepare that one test name. So what is that uh, test name? We need to give for that test name like uh, I uh, we here is given as a test is a ILAB and uh, type of is a performance test create and date and click on okay. So this is the right. So you need to give for the name of the test name and create the date, click on okay. See so select a newly created test and here in the below screenshot for the ILAB new test, click on the edit test options. So once this is completed, now you can select this one. Here will be edit option will be there. So everyone able to see edit. Everyone able to see or not? Yes, sir. See here, edit yeah, test will be there. Everyone able to see the above? Yeah. This is the edit test. Once you can click on the edit test, it will show the this all things. So what is the validation and everything will be shown. So once uh, uh, edit is completed, select any workload model type of the requirement. Decide as a now basic schedule by group or schedule by group you need to select. See, now it is same like as a controller. See, in controller also we have the options, right? Schedule by scenario, schedule by group, run mode, basic mode. So for here also, it will be the same. So now we can observe this will be, once click on edit button, you will you are able to see this. I will share this uh, document to everyone. Please watch and see that one uh, see by schedule by scenario and ramp up and real world model so you need to select for the based on our recommend schedule by scenario or schedule by group or real world mode so you can select that one click on okay okay uh, test design purpose that one okay so once uh, that is a uh, design completed to what we are doing so you can uh, above you need to see, click on select option. In the option, you can see the script tree, menu bar, right side pan, and expand that uh, subject folder in the right side pan, and expand all the folders until see your scripts. Means once we can upload it scripts, right? We need to check for the in that uh, right side panel. So this is the script tree. In that script tree, 
we are saved as a some group a group b will be there right so once we can save the all the things folders it will create for the these are the scripts so just which script you want to you need to select that one after adding the script the windows look like below i have the selected two scripts in the group a folder so in this group a they are selected for the two scripts see they are selected two scripts everyone able to see this is the one script this is the scripts and this is the number of virtual users this is the number of virtual users this is the load generator everyone able to see so for this you can observe same like as a controller only but a little bit only is different will be there but everything will be same as a, like as a controller only see everyone able to see this is the load generators these are the load generators this will be script uh, protocol what protocol this is the script names these are will be okay these are will be users number of virtual users so how, how many users we are executing so for this you need to do, give the usernames and after that click on this and you need to select for the schedule by senior or schedule by group and you need to set the runtime setting also once you can select this one here I, options will be there in runtime settings you need to give for the runtime settings for the each and every script will be different means you need to select one by one and you need to give for the runtime settings once you are completed click on the save button means once our test design is completed, we need to save the button. And after that, you can see the like this in the test plan. See, is a validation which will showing green means okay, your test will be validation will be good means your uh, uh, design is uh, correct. So once this is completed to now we have to convert require servers, web servers and DB servers and their uh, counters using for the monitoring tool point of view side scope. Yesterday I told right in perform and how it is there and side scope also will be there. So we need to monitor for the uh, access side scope. So okay, monitor tab, right, right click on the side scope and select a new group. So side scope also we will see means how it will be there in performance same thing will be there just to see steps on the monitor tab right click on the side scope and select a new group means here you need to right button click it and uh, create as a new group see how we are giving in the select this one side scope and create as a new group in the side scope new group section in the side scope new group section enter a name and group name field for this we need to enter for the any of the group name like what is the our group group a or group b like or any test one or sample test so you need to add for the group name of this click on ok button and after entering the group name the newly created group means once we can enter the group name the newly created group will be created that group will be visible in the list displayed on the monitor tab means here it will be it will be displayed see uh, so like this we need to add for the counters uh, how many we have the web servers will be there and how many app servers will be there any db servers will be there so those counters uh, we those servers we need to add here. So uh, find and select a newly created folder and right click on the group name and select as a new group. Enter a general group name for the web server and click on OK. Means we need to give for the web server and click on OK. C 
see after enter the new group created above in the monitor list right click on the select new group enter the server name and group name and click on so here we have the servers will be there right in the servers you just right button click it and once you can right button click with that select as a new group and enter the server name like server name means a web server one web server two or application server one application server two or db server you are adding db server one db server two so you need to add for the servers like this so repeat the steps to the all web servers app server sql servers so just nothing but uh, so i will show you in notepad See, once uh, instead of instead of controller we use alm sir yes instead of controller we can use for the alm we have what is the difference sir difference nothing but actual controller will be desktop based application okay but uh, okay. our alm will be web based application and we have the only single controller will be there in point of view desktop based but in going to the in perform center alm we have the multiple controllers will be there and so for example you are doing for any test so you can book for the time slot for any time so maybe tomorrow the best you, tomorrow you need to do for the test right so you can yes. book the time slot once you can book the time slot maybe i am also using same application once i can log in i will check for the okay deepthi already is a, he taken for the 1 to 2 time slot okay then i i can do for the time slot with the 2 to 3 so that uh, time slot mechanism also will be there here okay, okay in alm okay sir in okay. alm sir in the real time which one is we use yeah real time we can use uh, for anything is the fine controller or uh, alm yeah uh, controller they will use some company they company is using for the alm also that is why i am telling for the both so uh, nothing will be different will be there controller and alm so both will be okay. same but going to the controller we don't have any testing tab for example we have the in uh, alm how it will be there means you have the testing tab will be there right so i will show you in uh, notepad then you can understand a little bit okay in controller we don't have time slots also yeah we don't have time slot mechanism so in the testing tab will be there in the where in perform center or alm so alm nothing but application life cycle management so for this is the one of the tool for uh, this is also one of the component like as a controller but this is the performance center actually most of the companies they are using for the performance center also okay so why why they are using for the performance center means so we have the multiple controllers will be there and time slot mechanism will be there and each and everyone can see the okay already deepthi is booked for this time slot okay i can book for the after deepthi test is completed then i will book the our test so this type of things will be there so that is why majorly we will go with the perform center going to the controller means what we can do we need to only we only design any anything everything we can design and we need to click on start button and it will start so for example already deepthi booked for the morning to evening but i want to do also test for today okay uh for my office time is, is already over okay 8 o'clock is over but i need to do the test with the after 10 okay after 10 because of already deepthi booked total full day and she is doing test so for my point of view i can do for the night time so what can i do in morning only itself i can design the time slot okay after 10 to uh, 11 o'clock i will design and i will book the time slot and it automatically trigger for the 10 o'clock and it will test will be run so that is a good thing for here so in the testing tab will be there we have the testing tab in perform center in the perform center testing tab we have the test 
resource will be there test resource and uh, one more thing will be test plan and uh, one more thing the test lab once we can expand uh, this testing tab we'll see this all thing and one more thing will be time slot time slot and uh, one more thing will be test run so in performance center this options will be there going to the one by one we'll see the this test resource uh, starting we go with the test plan in the test plan what is the means you need to upload the script and design the scenario how we design in controller same thing you can design how we can do means for example you need to create as a one uh, test you are creating i'm creating as a test is a one folder i created test to folder okay you are understanding by i writing test folder i created in the test folder now we need to upload the script for we are for example you can observe here See once log in this one, it will open like this. Now you can observe here, we have to create a new folder. That is why see it is an arrow it is showing for the new folder. Once we can create the new folder, you need to uh, upload the scripts. So that is why we can we have the options will be there. You can upload, it will be downloaded. These all the options will be there. These all the options. So once we can create that one folder so you need to click on the upload button upload button you need to click the upload button once you can click on that upload button now you can go to notepad then you can get clear so for here i i want to script to script to and uh, better to type in this In the test plan we are doing this one in the test plan test to name what is the folder i created test to folder created in that i imported for the script to and script to one and script to two i imported scripts so how i imported means once test folder created right i can select this one in the above here you need to select for the upload the scripts here will be upload the scripts will be there you can once click on that upload the script we'll see the like this see it is upload script we can click on this it will show this one click on your browse means it will go to the where it is we are saved for the all the scripts as a zip folders it will go to there and click on okay means it will upload it so once uploaded you can see for the what are the scripts you are uploaded all zip folder will be show here and after that what you need to we need to design the scenario so to design the scenario point of view what we can do we need to select this one and click on edit button click on edit button edit button click on edit button once click on edit button what will happen is it will go to the in design page uh, in the design page it will go to the design page then in the design page what you can see schedule by scenario schedule by scenario and uh, schedule by group schedule by group you need to select how we design in controller in the design part after click on edit button you need to do for same thing means 
you can select a scenario by design and you need to give for the ramp up ramp down duration and you need to add for the load generators and you need to set for the uh, runtime settings for the each and every script so everything will be same up to this in this one up to this same as in the test plan once test plan we are uh, design and everything is completed for each script we are design is completed then come to the in test lab in the test lab nothing but we need to see for the okay what are the scenarios we are designed so those scenarios will be displayed in the test lab once this is completed now we need to come to the time slot in the time slot you need to book the time slot so for example you are selected as a time um, for example 9 pm to 10 pm you are selected and uh, we have the a button will be there button will be there check availability maybe someone booked means it will show as a we don't have that time slot check availability once you can given for the time duration and after that click on the check availability button and it will show for the if it is a green color it is showing means okay it is available that time then you can book that one so if it is not there if it is that is showing as a red color then you need to change for the timings okay you can change for the 10 am to 11 so once you can so once it is done then see is a time slot booking is also completed 10 to 11 pm so what will happen you are there print of the system whatever may be it is automatically test will be triggered and uh, test is once is completed that will be the test will see the in the test run some run id it will show for the run id once test is completed run id 120 like this it will show then once we can click on this button it will invoke to the v user virtual user uh, uh, analyzer uh, it will go to the analyzer then you need to analyze the results so this is for the perform center and alm any doubts regarding this deepthi manohar abhi no sir hmm? Uh, can you repeat again test plan which one test plan test plan so test plan nothing but uh, so for example once you, in the perform center will be uh, first you are seeing for the only testing tab once you can expand that one you will see for this all test resource test plan test lab test time slot and test run in the test plan what you can do means you can create one folder and in that create folder you need to upload for the scripts what are the scripts will be there all the scripts you can upload it once uploaded you can click on the edit button and you need to design the scenario how we design in controller same like this you can design once the number of users and the ramp up ramp down duration everything is done you can save it once save done then you can come to the test lab okay what are the scenarios you are added everything will be show the test lab and after that come to the time, time slot you can book for the time slot and in the test completed you'll see the run id some 120 or 320 like this it will open okay if you open that one it will invoke to the analyzer and it will uh, results will be open in the analyzer okay got it okay so going to the last one i missed this one right test resource in the test resource nothing but this is for the monitoring point of view cpu and memory monitoring point of view you need to add for the uh, servers we have the servers right application server and web server and db server so those servers we need to add here so uh, in side scope already i told right inside side scope 